Welcome to Sports Talk. Hello and welcome. This is Nick from Top Match Sports. And today we're going to be over the 2022 Atlanta Falcons salary review and offseason moves for 2022. Atlanta. It's been a long time since you guys have been in the promised land, really. I mean, in the playoffs, it's been a few years now. 7-10. 7-10 under Arthur Smith, first-year head coach. Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, not bad at all. I honestly thought you guys were probably going to finish last in the division. To finish third, not terrible. To go 7-10, and 10, not terrible. Now, this is a mock free agency, mock draft, mock offseason. We're going to hop into your salary cap situation, which is not pretty, and we're going to see what we can do for this team. We're going to do what we think they're going to do and what we honestly think they probably should do. So let's hop into this and see what we got. Here we go. The Atlanta Falcons have negative $1.9 million. <sighs> when you're a losing team and you got negative cap space, it's never a winning recipe. The guys currently on your screen are currently the guys that are under contract right now. Okay, these are the guys that are under contract. And the guys in green are the guys that you can cut and save money. The guys in red are the guys that you can cut and lose money. So overall, when you look at this, let's just use an example. If you were to cut Grady Jarrett, you would save $16.5 million. But if you were to, for some strange-ass reason, were to cut Kyle Pitts, you will lose $19.4 million. Now, again, that would never happen, but I'm just throwing that out there so you understand how this works. Let me know what you guys think you'll do with this slide here. Um, one thing is, I mean, you got to look at some of these guys. Grady Jarrett, is he worth $16.5 million? Is Matt Ryan worth $8.1 million? Is Jake Matthews worth $4.1 million? Is Kendall Sheffield worth $2.6 million? He asks these questions, answer these questions. I'll have these answers to you in a few slides from now. Let's hop into the next slide, which is going to show you our notable losses of guys that are currently not under contract that aren't on this slide. Let's see it. All right, here's our notable losses. And this is a huge one right here. And first things first, before I do anything, I want to give a huge shout out to one of our guys. that I, I honestly don't know if the whole series would be possible without this guy. Truly give a huge shout out for giving us the expected contract and the percent of stats played to Noah, the broomstick handle Thompson. Noah, truly, I want to thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone should give that man a round of applause in the chat. Here we go. So first things first, we got running back slash wide receiver Cordell Patterson. Uh, we got a two-year $12 million deal, and he played 45% of the snaps this year. The next guy's linebacker for you, side of luck one. He's expected to contract a four-year, $40 million deal, which is 98.8. Where he played 98.8% of the snaps this year. Next guy, wide receiver Russell Gage. He's expected to contract a four-year, $30 million deal. He played 58.2% of the snaps this year. Next guy's edge rusher Dante Fowler. He played, I mean, he's expected to contract a one-year, $6.5 million deal. He played 43.8% of the snaps this year. And last but not least, thrown safety Deron Harmon. He is expected to contract a one-year, $2.5 million deal. And he, we don't have a number for the amount of snaps he played this year. Let's go to the next slide, which is our potential targets. Here are your potential targets. This is what we got you guys doing. Right now, you got estimated cash base negative $1.9 million. We got you guys cutting Tyler, Tyler Davidson for $3.8 million, Kendall Sheffield for $2.6 million, and Mike Davis for $2.5 million. Cutting those three guys will save you $7 million. That gives you just enough to sign Cordero Patterson to a two-year $12 million deal, which is a $6 million cap hit. And then that would be a $6 million total cost. Seven minus six would be $1 million. It's, since you're in the positives, you can also franchise tag for you side a local one to a $17.4 million deal on a one-year $17.4 million deal, which would be a $17.4 million cap hit, which would be a negative $16.4 million. The only way you get these two guys is if you make the cuts that we made for you. Look at the, or unless, you again, you could uh, restructure Grady Jarrett's contract. You could do a lot of other things, Matt, Jake Matthews and all that. There's a lot of stuff that you guys could do. I don't know if, you know, I, I can't predict the restructures. I honestly cannot do that. So with that being stated, with that being stated, we must look at this now. Team needs, okay? Restructures, something higher than accounting for. I'm not freaking doing it for you, okay? I can't predict that. What I can do is cut people. That's very easy for me. So let's start with this. Running back, we're going to, you need a running back, you need a wide receiver, you need a tight end, you need an interior offensive lineman, an offensive tackle, a defensive tackle, an edge, a linebacker, cornerback, or safety. First things first, we get your re-signing Cordero Patterson. We get your re-signing slash franchise setting for side of local one. With that being stated, in the first round, we get you drafting Derek Stingley to fill in that cornerback need. In the second round, we get you drafting Logan Hall to fill in that edge need. In the second round, we also got you drafting David Bell to fill in that wide receiver need. And in the third round, we got you drafting Isaiah Spiller to fill in that running back need. In the fourth round, we have no idea what you're going to do, so we're not going to project that. Let's go to your 2022-2023 draft 
uh, uh, sorry, not draft. Your 2022, 2023 expected depth chart. Here it is. You got negative $16.4 million after making all these moves. But this is a decent roster. So real fast, in green, which you don't see here, would be the guys that you sign out of free agency. You don't have money to sign people out of free agency. But in orange, we got your re-signing. We got your re-signing Cordero Patterson. We got your re-signing Foyside Olokwan. In blue, we got your draft picks. In the first round, we got Derek Stingley. Second round, David Bell and Logan Hall. Third round, Isaiah Spiller. And last but not least, in yellow, these are your fillers. But you need to fill these guys in. Austin Tremel, you need to fill in another wide receiver. You need to fill in Jalen Mayfield. You got to fill in Marlon Davidson and take one Graham and Jalen Hawkins. Those guys all underperformed last year and probably got to, you know, you can probably find an upgrade somewhere. Now, just breaking news as of yesterday, Calvin Ridley will be suspended for all of 2022 if everything stays tuned. So with that being stated, uh, it, you know, he gets to have his hearing. He can, he can, uh, repeal it, but I do believe that he's probably going to be suspended for great gambling, which means that you really have a blaring hole at wide receiver as well. So we'll see what happens. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments section below. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. We are Built Better.